help of encapsulated by my pop-up parade. I have one too many. I always have to pop up parades. You always get characters that are hard to find affordable figures for, but I do need to make some space as these boxes are way too big and take up too much room. But before I start selling some of these, I want to do one last display to show it's all its glory. All in my display cabinet. All right, let's get started. Taking out the figures from the display, looked like it was taking a lot of work, but I actually finished it a lot faster than expected. The hard part was taking all the pop-up parade out of the boxes. But once that was done, it didn't take too long to put it into the display cabinet. All done. Took me way longer than expected, but well worth it. All right, let's start the tour on this side. Starting off with stone gates or car bear, and Marquis here. Always love the pose with the lab coat for Okabe. I don't mind the finishes on Marquis here too much. The pose is great. Hunter x Hunter. Look at those effects. I have two more characters on pre-order for this set. Gone is charging up his Nan. Fat expression. And the muscles on his arm. Killua with his electric Nan. Looking so deadly. The full Metal Alchemist pop up parade. Royal Mustan is about to click some flames. Risa is battle ready. And King Bradley looking deadly as ever. Please good smile company. Do the west of the Humok Lies. And the bottom shelf, Buy Family with the forges. This is my last Buy Family set as I've sold my single prize figures. Also the small detail finish on your Lord with his weapon drawn and I am in an incited pose for no bond. Self 2, one punch man. No display devices for these guys. Satama with a serious punch, Garu with his kicks, and Genos with a blast. Look at those eyes, I sense death. On to the next one. Oops, I mixed up the characters here. They're friends of Atreus. Love the details and finish on Kratos. Atreus is looking great as well. Bow in hand. Louie Louie from Nadesco on the side. She's the same height as Atreus. Another high IQ character with Saint Q from Dr. Stone. Will you show me how these differ from the Band Festival Prize figures? The main characters from Full Metal Alchemist, while across from the other ones, always have to finish on Alphonse's armor in a great action pose. All of Edward details go into his automail. Look at all that fan service. Onto Kakuya Sama, love his war. Some are uniform outfits. I really hope they do the guys as well, like Class Pleasant. Kagura with the big eyes and the thinking face. Or is that a plotting face? And Chica as animated as always. I semi wish they released her in for detective uniform. Show free starting big with Jujutsu Kaisen. Sadly, Gojo has already been sold. Actually, all my Gojo figures are sold. So we have Nanami Ro protecting the students and looking so cool. Megumi with a simple pose. Same with Yuji with a simple pose. Who also comes with a Sukuna head swap. And Nabala looking very animated and serious. My remaining Attack on Titan pop up parade. Yes, I have so much Ellen and the Attack Titan. Reina in his Marlin uh, military outfit, carrying his gun. And Levi in his Terra Cops outfit. Bit of a boring pose. Would be cool one day to see the rest of the squad. Mob Sucker 100. Just two figures in a set. Hmm, so we'll set them closer to the One Punch Man set. I also have the Nendo Loader, which comes with dimples. They kept the mop here perfectly, but the hands were a bit too big. Legend with a pretty cool pose and hand in his pocket. Onto Killer Kill figures. There's two of these as well. We really need a Sasuke. I really like the details on Lyoko, especially the scissors blade. And this time I have attached it correctly. And Mako, I really like the character. I'm quite happy if there's a figure of her and to really capture her energetic risk. All right, just halfway through the display tour with the pop-up parade. If you have been enjoying it so far, please give it a like. All right, let's keep on going with the display tour. We started with a band, the Demon Slayer pop-up parade. Based on the poster, I love how the pop-up parade display together as a set. I hope they can do more of this in the future, but you still need to buy them separately. And man, it's okay. Looks like it's about to attack them all. The route onto the Hashila pop-up parade. I stopped when I realized I'm basically just stopping up on the band festival prize figures. But hey, these are looking so colorful. Giyu is looking a bit gloomy. Tengen, on the other hand, with his massive smile and filled with his charisma. Then Goku, hmm, not sure on the quality on this face. Snowbird is looking great with the pose and colors. And Mitsuli looking as cute as ever. The figures that will pierce the heaven. There's still a few more figures coming out for this set. I just love the hair, how it looks like a stylized brush stroke on Yoko, and great craftsmanship on all of the details. The line and movement on Rival is stunning, and Simon holding his jewel up high with the biggest smile. Carmina, leading the pose and confidence. And that cape. Luling Kenshin figures. 
been wanting to get some for a while. Really it is a Kaolu for Shisho Shama. I love how they captured the bandage movement, the texture and fierceness in him. Contrast with Kenshin's warmer and fighting look where peaceful pose holding the sword from the sheath and Anhan hanging from his torso. On to show 5. Another one of my favourite, the Makoko Senkai Films Pop Up Parade. Team named all the movies. Mitsuha looking afar into the distance, Otaki Kun's wife behind her. Hina looking at the sunshine, Hodaka on the bench. Tsushimi is walking away. We got some My Hero Academia villains. Season 1 outfits. Tomura with all his hands and look at that eye. Dabi, you have to view it from high to see his grin and that movement on his jacket is great. Himiko is all decked out with her equipment with a big smile. These figures have a special place as Ruby is the figure that really convinced me that pop up parade are worth collecting. Oh, and Yoko is looking to join the team. To this day, Ruby has been one of the most detailed pop up parade I owned the Sky Sniper and that cape. Perfection. Ruby's pop up parade is quite impressive as well with the details and movement on the outfit and that sort. But by the time Yang and Bl Blake release, they're missing a bit of quality that made Ruby and West shine. Blake looks great, especially with the hair, but the blade and outfit feels a bit flat. Onto the final shelf, Cowboy Bebop. Hmm, I guess it would be nice to get Vicious and Julian's four, but these four are pretty great. We we're happy with how Spark turned out, the hair and the outfit so good, and come with his gun. Faye given a metallic finish on the yellow of her outfit, good pose, and have her hand army her gun. Jet with all the different parts to his outfit, for a distinct tone on his face, looks a bit different to his white arm, and also has his done ready. And the end eyes. Still can't get over the stem lines on iron, but I love how happy they are. Inu Yasha. These characters are really growing in my heart as I just started reading through the manga. I might end up getting the rest of the pop up parade squad. Inu Yasha with his overconfident smile, Tesaiga in his hand, Kikiyo on the side in her priestess outfit. Kagome captured her face and hair perfectly in her school uniform. And the most epic pop-up prayer with Shoshu Homalu. The detail and weight is astounding and from this angle, the Moko Moko stem line is invisible. Some Yu-Gi-Oh pop-up parade. I just bought this because they look cool. I have sold my Dark Magician Girl pop-up parade. Yu-Gi with a donut pose about to throw cards. Tetsu Kaiba armed to fight back. Whew, alright. That's all six display cabinet. It's a bit sad to see some of this pop-up play go, but I do need to make that space and also need to start saving for my upcoming trips. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. As I say, farewell to some of this pop-up parade. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.